Hello students, myself Dr. Divya Ghildeyal in continuation with my lecture series for your unit of relativity lecture one I have briefed you numericals in length contraction. Now we will discuss numericals of time dilation. One more numerical of length contraction obtain the volume of a cube the proper length of each edge of which is l naught when it is moving with velocity v along one of its edge now from the concept of length contraction i know that l is equal to l naught into under root 1 minus v square by c square so what will I do? I will put Lx equal to Lz equal to L0 because volume of a cube, cube has all three sides equal and volume is given by L cube, length of the cube. So it becomes equal to and Lx is what? L0 into under root 1 minus V square by C square to the power of half. I put these three values here and I get the answer. Time dilation. T equal to T naught into under root 1 minus V square by C square. Now, at what time should a clock be moved so that it may appear to lose 1 minute in each hour? Let us have a more closer look at the question. 1 minute in each hour. 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. Here we will not do it into seconds. We will keep it minutes only. So it is losing 1 minute. That means 60 minus 1 is 59 minutes for 60 minutes, which is recorded by a stationary clock with respect to and observer. That means what the clock is actually losing one minute of its time. So that means 60 is equal to 59 upon under root 1 minus v square by c square. We will cross multiply and square in relativity try doing all these numericals like this only cross multiply and square it will become very easy if they are asking v you can even leave the answer in terms of c but here we will put the value and we get the value of v a certain particle called a mu meson has a mean life of 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus sec uh, 7 seconds. What is the velocity of mu meson if its proper life is 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 8 seconds? Once again, my formula for time dilation that is del T is equal to del T dash upon under root 1 minus v square by c square. Now let me see what they have given in the numerical. They are saying that it has a mean life of 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 7 seconds. And proper time is 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 8. That means the proper time or the initial frame time is to be kept here 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 8 and the mean lifetime is supposed to be kept here. Again, I cross multiply square and I get the answer. Similar question appears to lose 4 minutes in 24 hours. 4 minutes in 24 hours. 1 minute is equal to uh, six, uh, 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes and it moves 
uh, what time should be moved relative to an observer so that may to appear to 24 hours that means 24 hours is equal to 24 into 60 minutes because one hour is 60 minutes so you get 1440 minutes measured by the observer moving with the clock and it moved relative to an observer so that it may appear to lose four minutes that means you add four to this so you get 1000 triple four minutes is the time interval now you will put these values here 1444 equal to 1440 upon under root 1 minus v square by c square and then here we will use binomial theorem to solve it we will use the formula of binomial expansion neglect higher order terms because v upon c is a very small quantity so when i open it according to binomial theorem i will neglect my higher order terms and i get 1400 uh, triple four equal to 1440 into 1 minus v square by 2 c square and then simple mathematical steps and i get the answer like this time dilation, relativistic addition of velocity. Ux is equal to Ux dash plus V upon under root 1 plus Uv by C square. Addition of velocity, relativistic particles coming towards each other. Two particles come towards each other with a speed of 0.9 c with respect to the laboratory. What is their relative speed? We know from the formula of relativistic addition of velocity that ux is equal to ux dash plus u upon under root 1 plus uv by c square. Now, ux dash is equal to this much. So, v is 0.9c. Vx is equal to, again, dash is equal to 0.9c. Both have been coming towards each other with a velocity of 0.9c. We will put these two values of 0.9c in this expression and we get the answer straight away. A particle has a velocity u equal to 3i plus 4j plus 12k meter per second in a coordinate system moving with velocity 0.8c relative to the laboratory along positive direction of x-axis. Find the velocity in laboratory frame of reference. Ux is equal to Ux dash plus V upon Uxv by C square. We have been given U is equal to 3i plus 4j plus 12k in the coordinate system. So my x coordinate here is 3, y is 4 and z is 12. I only need the x coordinate from my numerical. So I will write ux dash equal to 3. V point 8c. We do not require the y and z component. Putting y and z for ux we don't require. When we will find uy, we will use the y component value from the numerical c. Y component is 4. So I will put uy dash equal to 4. V point 8c and solve. For z, I will put uz dash equal to 12. And I will get my three components. And experimenter observes a radioactive atom moving with velocity of 0.25 c. The atom then emits a beta particle which has a velocity of 
point nine C relative to the atom in the direction of its motion. What is the velocity of the beta particle? From the law of addition of velocity, u is equal to u dash plus v upon one plus u dash v by c square. U has been given to me here as point nine C. It has a value of point nine C relative. And v is point two five C. I will put these values in this formula, and I will get the answer. Relativistic variation of mass with velocity, m is equal to m naught upon under root one minus v square by c square, where m naught is rest mass. At what speed will the mass of a body be two point two five times its rest mass? Now see. M is equal to two point two five m naught, so I will put m equal to two point two five m naught, and m naught will remain as m naught here. This m naught, this m naught will get cancelled. I will cross multiply and square, and I will get the answer. For all my numericals of relativity, I if I have been asked b. This is the form funda I will apply. Apply that I am going to cross multiply and square. A man weighs fifty kg on Earth. When he is in rocket ship in flight, his mass is fifty point five kg as measured by an observer on Earth. What is the speed of the rocket? From relativistic a uh, formula of mass i know m is equal to m not upon under root 1 minus v square by c square i will cross multiply and square this makes all my numericals of relativity very easy and i have been given rest mass as 50 kg and mass uh, which is there in the spacecraft is 50.5 kg Velocity of light is three into ten to the power of eight meter per second. I will put these numerical values in this formula above, and I will get the answer. How fast must an electron move in order that its mass equals the rest mass of the proton? So again, I will write my formula for relativistic mass. Cross multiply both the sides. Square it and find out one expression for v. Put the value of mass of electron as nine point one one into ten to the power of minus thirty one kg. Mass of proton as one point six seven into ten to the power of minus twenty seven kg. And velocity of light. Equal to three into ten to the power of eight meter per second. After putting these values, I will get my answer. Rest mass of an electron is n naught. What will be its mass if its speed is four by five times the velocity of light? So again, formula m equal to m naught upon under root one minus v square by c square. M naught is nine point one into ten to the power of minus thirty one kg. V is four by five into c. Putting these values in the expression above, I will get the answer. The mass of a moving electron is eleven times its rest mass. Calculates its kinetic energy and momentum. from the formula of mass energy equivalence and conservation of energy i know that kinetic energy here is equal to del mc square or e is del mc square so m minus m not is del m m has been given to me as 11 times its rest mass And rest mass is nine point one into ten to the power of minus thirty one kg. So I will put this value as k equal to eleven m naught minus m naught into c square, 
as these numerical values here and I will get my kinetic energy. Similar expressions are there where you just have to use M0 and you will get the answer. One derivation I will do quickly. This has been asked many times in your exam. Show that the momentum of a particle of rest mass M0 and kinetic energy Ke is given by P is equal to under root Ke square upon C square plus 2 M0 Ke. Any derivation is asked in relativity, you can either directly use this formula I told you in the beginning or derive it. If you don't want to derive simply from the mass energy variance, kinetic energy is equal to E minus M naught C square. I have done this in my theoretical video. You can check it in the playlist of relativity. And I will put E equal to under root M naught square C to the power of 4 plus P square C square in this formula. And square both the sides. Relativity always uses the concept of squaring and I get the answer. Please for theory and all extra notes refer to my playlist. Thank you.